This is the story of the Fellowship of the Ring in three minutes. Long ago, the Dark Lord Sauron tries to conquer Middle-earth. Sauron is stopped by an alliance of elves and men. Gondor's Isildur grabs Sauron's one ring. Isildur, ignoring Elrond, decides to keep Sauron's Horcrux. Isildur is killed by orcs, and the ring is lost. Pipeweed enthusiast Gandalf the Grey visits Bilbo Baggins, a hobbit in the Shire, for his 111st birthday. At his party, Bilbo gets hammered and tells the gathering that he never liked most of them before using the magic invisibility ring to disappear. Bilbo prepares to travel to River Bilbo agrees to leave his precious ring and everything else to his adopted nephew Frodo Baggins. Gandalf returns. He casually lets Frodo know he has the one ring and he, uh, probably shouldn't just hang on to it. Oh, and there are nine Nazgul, black cloaked wraiths, looking for the ring. He should maybe flee the Shire and meet Gandalf at the village of Bree. Frodo is joined by his gardener Samwise and two more hobbits, Pippin and Merry. They narrowly avoid Nazgul, and the hobbits arrive at the inn of the Prancing Pony in Bree. Frodo accidentally uses the ring to draw attention of a dark cloaked stranger known as Strider. The hobbits instantly trust him. Strider is Aragorn, a ranger of the north and a friend of Gandalf. Aragorn leads the hobbits to Weathertop, where the Nazgul find the party. Frodo pops on the ring and is promptly stabbed by a Nazgul's blade. Arwen carries Frodo to safety in Rivendale, where Frodo is healed by Elrond. Elrond convenes the humbly named Council of Elrond to decide the fate of the ring. Gandalf reveals that the head wizard Saruman has betrayed him and is working with Sauron. Gandalf escapes on the back of a giant eagle. That, uh, definitely happened. Not the pipeweed talking at all. The council determines that the ring must be destroyed in Mount Doom in Mordor. Boromir objects and says maybe just pass him the ring. Frodo decides he's tired of living, so he volunteers to take the ring to Mordor. Aragorn, Boromir, Gandalf, Merry, Pippin, and Samwise join him. Gimli the Dwarf and Legolas the Handsome Elf also volunteer for the journey. The Fellowship enters the Mines of Moria, the ancient dwarf kingdom. Gimli promises it will be fine, but it turns out Gimli is a liar. His dwarf kin are dead, and the Fellowship is attacked by orcs. The Fellowship flees, but are caught by the Balrog Durin's bane. Naturally, Gandalf uses the most powerful weapon, words, and tells it, You shall not pass! It doesn't go as planned, and Old Valley drugs Gandalf into the abyss. The Fellowship loudly stumbles into Elven Lothlorien. Its ruler, Galadria, warns Frodo's others want the ring, particularly Boromir. The elves give the Fellowship gifts. Frodo is given a bottle of water. Creepily, Gimli asks for some of Galadria's hair. Ugh. Saruman sends his army to kidnap the hobbits, and Gollum starts tracking the Fellowship. Soon after, Boromir attempts to seize the ring for Gondor, but Frodo escapes. Saruman's army appears and Boromir, ashamed, atones by defending Merry and Pippin, who are still seized. Frodo goes solo, but Samwise can't quit him and joins. For some reason, Aragorn, Gimli, and Legolas decide Frodo is fine alone and decide to pursue Merry and Pippin. And that is the story of the Fellowship of the Ring in three minutes.